Hello all and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword with me, Choco Billy. Right, up to the the hill. Quote unquote. Geoglyph. What? A forbidden name. Hmm. So this is obviously a massive nod to the Giant of Cern, or Kern, I, I don't know how you pronounce the word exactly, or the Chalk Giant in England. We've got a few of them, there's like one with a horse as well I think. The Giant of Cern I feel is more famous mostly due to the Giant Phallus at sports. I mean, good for him, right? Also, I guess it's a kind of a a nod to Stonehenge. Well, you got the darkest day on the left and the Dynamax on the right. So this is giant people next to the. The giant Pokemon, I assume it's Pokemon, makes the little people in the storm on the left. So I'm go Dynamax, because that's the. It's the bigger part of it. If only I had a fire bug available. Stop giving me things. Ah, oh, little doggy. A spell walk to too. Made from chalk or limestone or something. A bottle of fresh water from a fountain. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> There we go. Isn't that adorable? I appreciate that. It's quite funny. <laughs> and that's a... I forgot what they're called now. Um... Oh. Is that a little apple in the bottom? Yeah, there's a... Uh... We've yet to find one. I think they're in the next upcoming area. Okay, well, I haven't got time to be dealing with that, but perhaps it was referring to the leaf stone here. <laughs> um, at which point I've already found it. Maybe I get a shovel item later to be able to dig something up. Fluff, fluff. He is quite the horticulturist. Ah, uh, it's not a TM, but it'll do. Oh, Max Revival is actually quite, quite tasty. Yeah, yeah, say that again. Looks like once we can tread water, might be able to go some places. Cool. Not sure how long that'll be though. An Everstone, nice. I did catch a. Oh, there we go, TM. 
brutal swing. <laughs> I like it. Use a swing to spot around violently to inflict damage on everything in its vicinity. So not great in team battles, but otherwise it might be quite good. Um, yeah, I got I caught a Pokemon in the wild area, and that was just holding an Everstone, so that was interesting. Also, I um, did a bit of research in like episode two, maybe one. Uh, there was a glowing Rookadi. Uh, they are brilliant Pokemon, and what brilliant Pokemon do or are is they can they have increased stats. Uh, they have an ability. They may have a um, either move or ability they could otherwise only learn from an egg. Uh, you get some watts from it as well, so pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so you can also redo the gyms, which is quite nice. I like that. Off screen, I might go back to every gym after completing a gym to see if uh, they increase their difficulty or uh, anything gets a bit harder. Ah, a little blip bug. Thanks, but no thanks. Be cool if they added in a load of me off that way through trading. I already have the uniform I want, and that is the poison uniform. Uh, now it seems like you can't actually uh, wear it when you do the battles or the um, the same uh, when you actually go to do the gyms. But yeah, well, you can wear it casually. do this. So a gym mission is for every gym you do there's like some sort of puzzle to complete beforehand which I quite like and there are trainers spread throughout the missions as well which is a any way of doing it. Similar to um, the first one that springs to mind is the ice gym in Johto, where you had to work out the way to slide on the ice to be able to get to the gym leader. I quite like that. In this one, you've got to wrangle Wulu. Hello there, old sport. Like his creepy tash. It's really hitting home how country centric this, or oh, sorry, farm centric this country is. Go on, in you go. Oh, how nice of them to bundle up for me. <laughs> yeah, so you can see there the little yampa running about, which scares them. I mean, I, I, I'm not even doing anything, they're just going that way. Well, that was hard. <laughs> Oh, there's a trainer. We'll see about that, mate. Samuel? Oh, do I still have... Um, yeah, I do still have him in first place. Oh, well. I doubt it's going to be too much of an issue. See my meaning. Oh no! Leaves! <laughs> Two damage. 
Goodbye. Uh, so we get a different victory theme, well, victory theme with a different sound font. Oh, and it moves the Emperor as well, that's good to know. Uh, up you go, mate. I don't know what I'm Australian there for. Apologies. That little Yampera's going left, and then we'll go right. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Mark. And Buddy. Guess it'll be fire we're using then rather than bug. Sorry, buddy. Pun intended. Dude likes his grass poison. Of which there are a surplus. Yeah, I somehow think this gym's gonna be fairly easy. Is that grass rock poke? Ah! <laughs> that one. Hop out. Oh, we've got two yampers now. Come on, come on. There we go. Excuse me, I'm over here. See if it brings both Yampers to her. Why does she look her eyes? Am I fighting Billy Elish? Eyes wide shut. Oh yeah. I feel like at this stage I should be like, yeah, you use on a bug fire type. Well, here's the badge. There's no point in even trying. <laughs> yeah, she gets both yampers. Cool. Yeah, just grind the wool up against the wall. Yeah! Cool. <laughs> Where are those hay bales going? Ah, oh, good li goo! <laughs> mun 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 mun. <laughs> don't know why I find that funny, but I do. Stop judging me. Don't think no, he hasn't taken a single hit. <laughs> He's got pretty good speed actually, that Kafrizipede. Woo! I mean millipedes are known for moving pretty quickly. Literally thousands of loads creepy mofos. Oh, oh, woo! It's gotta be so disheartening for for Milo and all the other gym leaders who it's like <laughs> they have thousands of people come to watch millions including on TV and then uh, they just continually lose given the fact that we know that they're going to have lost at least twice once to Hop, once to me and maybe all the other like Bede and uh, 
Marnie as well. Proper job. Uh, yes, so uh, we've got our first battle where a trainer will be Dynamaxing their Pokemon. But I refuse. I refuse. I, I reject your Dynamax mechanic. Okay, you swole five-year-old. Enjoy this weird Euro trashy music. Let's go bug bite. Just because of the dust and the stab. Yep. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Unfortunately, weeds are weak to fire and bugs. Maybe it's just me. The sound of the, the crowd cheering just is it doesn't quite sit right. Right, we've got a giant fluff ball to deal with. Right, let's see if we can take it out in one hit. Yeah, I mean it does it does damage, but then it will also heal every turn. It heals everything on the field every turn. I think I don't know if it's based on typing or whatnot, but oh, I wonder how how high a level I'd have to be to. Yes, you know it heals me as well. So I've done so much of the damage that you just did to me. Just, Yeah, let's just keep bug biting. Nice. So we'll get healed a little bit, and then I imagine one more. One more hit, and that's that. Dandelion. The bug just pulling around. Oh, so close. It's slowly taking it out. So I think it's after three turns it'll come back to normal. Oh. I was so hoping I'd get to kill it whilst it was big. Oh, well, there we go. Excuse me? Should have just been using that from the beginning, mate. <laughs> that, that Dynamax was just screwing you over. Yeah. size of my chest. Also nice, I like that the gym bear just kind of part of the medallion. What is this, Mr. Shaky Hand Man to refuse to stop shaking my hand? Alright, there we go. Magical Leaf. Oh yeah, it's like swift but for grass, isn't it? It can't move. Can't miss. Yeah, and I think that's a nice little touch.
Yeah, so me and my friend were discussing about um, if you are a bull guy um, using the quick balls or fast balls, whatever they're called. It's like just walk into a match with a level or just walk around the wild area, find like a level 60 Pokemon, fast ball it, catch. Nice. <laughs> the rest of the game's easy. <laughs> I like this ball guy. He's funny. Bit creepy though. A constant smile. All right, Turfield. Thank you very much. It's over. Over too soon. Did my Pokemon get healed back up or do I have to? Yeah, they did, didn't they? <laughs> nice. All right, that was over nice and quick. So why don't we just move on? I don't know why I talked to you. I already knew what you had to say. <clears throat> right, let's hop over the bridge. Move on to Route 5. Yeah, right. Do we have a double battle? Cool. So we get to see Blighty and Kafrizapede going at it. Wait. Scratch that. Um dueling together. Okay. Not very, yeah, but to, towards which Pokemon exactly? Um, I'm expecting special moves. Now we're right. You better not paralyze. Okay, good. Goodbye, Clink. If you re-challenge the um, gym, if you have to redo the mission for him as well, it's so really hopeful. So you're just lightning, so it doesn't really matter to you. So I might as well just use bug bite. Oh, I forget that bug bite uh, hits all. That's cool. Not bug bite, struggle bug, sorry. No. That was sad. Ooh. Nope. Hang on a minute. Do I see a path? Yeah! Oh, a shed shell. Oh, we got a couple of those. I know you're there, Slurpee. Haha! -ha. Um, I think I'm probably actually going to switch the items I've got. The fact that that can hit all and it doesn't do much damage anyway, like, Bug Bite's fine, but Struggle Bug is a bit weak. To be able to deal more damage to multiple enemies, what the hell is, oh, it's a Cincino, or Mincino, whatever they're called. Hey, Um, that would be pretty cool, I think. Stuart? Ah, uh, yes, Atlin. Now, I loved it in concept, but I know what its evolutions look like, and I'm just a little bit sad. It's a grass dragon, which I think could have looked really cool. However, it turns into a giant pie. Yeah, it just turns into a giant apple pie. And that makes me sad. Yeah. I mean, it might. You'll, you'll you'll see what I mean if you look at the design. When we uh, inevitably see it later in the game, 
Now, the typing's cool, Grass Dragon. I mean, it could have looked really cool, but in my opinion, at least, it doesn't. Like, all the really weird, goofy-looking Pokemon in this game tend to be Fairy-type. And I'm alright with that. Or Fairy-type or, like, maybe some kind of bug. Lots of bugs are just weird-looking anyway. But this is just... Grass Dragon. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a naysayer. I mean, this is a risky move, given that I've got a fire Pokemon, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, of course it's magic up. Anything over... Oh, Drifloon. And it, oh, hey, another TM. Attract. Cool. Nice. Let's put Blighty at the front. I thought there might be a shortcut for that. I'm going to be fighting like a bug or dark or something that's good against a uh, psychic type now, aren't I? Oh no, it's a Mincino. Which is normal. Tickle? Ah. I just, oh, I just can't get enough of um, the Aphrysipedes, or oh, sorry, Sizzlipedes, White Smoke ability. I think this is fantastic. Hey! Nice. Got anything else to say? Steeny. can't remember what that is. Yeah, let's just keep going, find another normal type. Oh, of course it's the grass, isn't it? Well then. I really should be using Kafuzapede in this matchup. Never mind. I know it's super effective against that, but I've had my attack move down twice. Uh, fair enough. I thought it was. I thought. I thought struggle bug was a um, a physical move. Which you know. So all those attack debuffs do nothing. <laughs> so say I thought I was still doing a reasonable amount, even though I'm super effective and have the silver powder. Congrats, Dewey. Ugh. Yeah, right. Fine. Adrian! Oh, a Stuffle. It has an adorable call, I guess. Take it as a dark move then. Ooh, so close. Hopefully that won't be enough. That's fine. Cool. Goodbye, Stuffle. Maybe you should beware of psychic types. <laughs> Routes. Uh, who's the high level at this point? Yeah, we'll keep Blighty in it. So I've got a good matchup against this guy. Actually, Bug and Psychic type. And he's got Fighting and Psychic type. Cyber. Ooh, okay. Actually, I should be fine. Yeah. Not very effective, I've got high special defense as well, and I just took a special attack down. Beautiful.
Hey man, at least we're able to get a a, a, a nice galade out of that. Cutie fly. Yeah, now it's time to switch, I think. Get that fire online. Also, yay, trainers are more than one Pokemon. Absorb? Absorb? How dare you. Cutie Fly was another contender for my team. So having, have it, you need to have Fairy in your team, realistically, if you want to have a well-rounded team. In my opinion, anyway. But that Poison Fairy type, I just can't get enough of. This is very true. Very, very true. Alright. I think I love it. you don't even have to go inside the nursery to drop off Pokemon. Ah, look, it's a Toxel. Tox Tox. Now I want to talk to the person. Oh wow, nice way to just abandon your Pokemon. I'm glad they do, because now we've got a Toxel! Yay! Electric poison. It stores poison in an internal poison sac and secretes that poison through its skin. If you touch this Pokemon, a tingling sensation follows. So, don't hug it. Um, no, not for now. But there is our third party member, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Yes, I'll give him some excess candies because he is under leveled. Yes. Alright. I'll call the episode there, and we now have our third party member. Yay. Uh, in the next episode, we will make our way to Hullbury, and might even be able to fit in the uh, gym there. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode, guys.